Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, finally, I am meeting up with Vegetable Police. The guy lived one and a half years in Thailand. I've been here for two years and we didn't manage to meet each other. But finally, today, he is leaving to Canada and I'm gonna catch him at the airport. Let's do this. Yes, I see him. Oh. How are you, man? Holy shit. You're right, brother. What's up, man? Yeah, you're good, man. Fucking hell, man. I was running in circles. Five, yeah, no like I saw all these numbers, and I'm like, one, and then two, and then orange, and three, and fucking. Three and five. How are you doing? You good? Good, man. This is awkward. You want to drink something or eat something? I got lots of beef and tuna. Alright, Casey. Let me see the goods. Alright. <laughs> what do we got for dinner? We got some stuff here. It's all vegan. 100 percent plant based. This is tofu tuna. Ah oh, nice. Tofurky. <laughs> There. Let's see, it doesn't look bad, man. Looks like sashimi. Yeah, it's yeah. good times. It's good times right there. Then we got some, your local Thai beef. Fucking hell, man. That shit creeps me out. We're gonna poison Bobby here today. <laughs> <laughs> and then the Australian beef. Dear Jesus. So they just, they don't torture the Thai cows enough. Ah. But the Australian ones, they do. Yeah, I heard they export them to Bali, then they kill them there. Yeah. You know, and then they ship them to Thailand afterwards. Yeah, so. while they're dying. While they're dying. Yeah. <laughs> <That's fun. laughs> be as cruel as you can. All right, so you can choose, huh? <laughs> so finally, I met up with Casey after looking for him for over one hour. Thank you very much. I lied about where I was. I was looking at numbers. I'm like, I'm on the first floor, man. Where are you? I was on the fourth. Mm. That's fine. And now he's gonna show me his ways. Yeah. I tried tuna before. Mm. Yeah, tuna is easy. Tuna is super easy. I never tried the raw beef. Yeah, how are we even gonna open? We're not carnivores. Not to worry. I come prepared. <laughs> oh, wow. Right? It's a bit nice. rusty. Nice. Yeah, go for it. Airport security, please. Yeah, that, that can't be allowed in here. No, I don't think so. What do you guys? Your channel took off, right? Camera conspiracy. Yeah. yeah. Don't play around that guy. <laughs> yeah, it's doing pretty good. But what do you present? Just cameras. I talk shit about cameras. Camera companies not being good enough. I've talked shit about your camera. Mine overheats. Yeah, that's, that's a piece of shit. Throw it away. <laughs> All right, let's get to it. And you just eat like something. Yeah. Yeah, just go for it. Just on the light. It smells right disgusting. It doesn't smell great. For you, it yeah, probably smells good. Yeah, it's not great. No, huh? Questionable Thai beef there. Oh my goodness. What happened to me, man? <laughs> From vegan <laughs> to carnivore at the airport. Oh my god. I'm a knife. You're crazy. I would never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna chop off my finger with this. What am I doing? That's what like, am I doing, Casey? What is this? I can already tell it's gonna be a tough chew. <laughs> <laughs> Ajuna says you don't have to chew. What do you have to do? Just swallow it? Yeah, pretty much. You just take a couple bites and then you're good to go. But you cannot chew through the fat. That is impossible. You yeah, the, it's the, it's the, what is it? There's some piece. Tendon? Yeah, some kind of tendon. Yeah, that's what I ruptured whilst yeah. being a vegan. Yeah. That can't be good. No. Bobby's first taste of raw meat in Thailand. Will he live? <laughs> <laughs> so just bite into this, right? Don't mind me, everybody. Yeah. Okay. You sure I'm gonna live, right? Yeah, pretty sure.
<laughs> I'm closer. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that? Hey, this is actually just like I expected it to be. Yeah? It is not much different than tuna sashimi. Mm. Maybe a bit chewier and warm. I would prefer it out of the fridge. Really? Yeah, I would. But other than that, yeah, it doesn't feel wrong or anything, man. Mm -hmm. I went to the sushi buffet yesterday and this is not so much different. Mm. Maybe the tannin will be hot, but other than this, yeah. Can't complain. Bon appetit. Looks delicious. Mm. It's actually quite nice. Mm. We got a fan. We got a fan of raw meat. <laughs> You're getting beef 17 in there. Beef 17. When's the last time you had that one? Uh, don't even get that. Can't get that on the vegan diet. Can't get anything on the vegan diet. Not one thing. Can't get deficient on the vegan diet. Mm -hmm. That's what you can get. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. But when I learned of how they die, it made me sad and I cried. So now I don't eat animals. <laughs> Step away. You see the toggle right now. You cannot see it. <laughs> It's really delicious, man. I like it. Yeah, I really do. I could eat that all day. I have a cat, his name is Frank. I will not eat his bones or face. Yeah, one of them. I see, it smells fishier than sashimi, though. Mm. Sashimi doesn't smell like anything. Mm. This on the other hand, it smells fishy. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little older uh, than your sashimi maybe was. It is a sign, but <laughs> this is not good, man. No? <laughs> the fishy stench in it, you know? Yeah. It smells cold. It doesn't have the same. <laughs> It isn't melting in your mouth mm. like the real sashimi, and it leaves you an aftertaste as well. Mm. So not great. That's what that is. Mm. <laughs> well, enjoy that gift from Thailand. <laughs> enjoy that. Uh, the vegan's gonna love this video, man. Oh, there it is. There's the Australian beef for you. Slimy. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that, bro. <laughs> Interesting. Does it? it? Smells like it was prepared in a Japanese restaurant. Oh, I wouldn't cook that shit, man. That's gonna be interesting. But really, in bodybuilding days, back in the day when I would eat meat like this, when it smells like this, I throw it away, man. Yeah. This is what I used to do. If you say this is the right moment to eat it, yeah, that's when it's good. I've been wrong all the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you've been throwing out perfectly good meat there, but <laughs> we're wasting money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I brought meat. Fuck me. My loss. You've been missing out. No, of course, I'm not going to eat that. Never. I just cut it. <laughs> if anybody else here wants a minute. Anybody? Good. Nobody? No. All awesome. A little present of Casey. Thank you very much. My pleasure. See, this is what we just discovered it. <laughs> <laughs> Can't break into your no, phone. Yeah. Oh, they can. Oh, no. Oh, your thing is a Nazi symbol. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just eat the plants and you'll be strong. strong. It is not healthy to eat meat It makes your penis fall asleep The fruits and veggies wake him up Then you can have sex with your lover Oh my god, we saw the XT2, we saw the XT1 that was his son, I bet. <laughs> Vegetable police in action. 
Let's do a walking talk with Casey here. We're going to talk about the ethics of leaving veganism behind. For me, it has been extremely hard now. Mm -hmm. For the first two months, basically. Yeah. First week after three days of eating animal products, I started feeling amazing. Mm -hmm. After five days, I was so regretful that I just wanted to quit straight away. After a week, I felt even better. And after 10 days, I said, fuck all of this shit, I'm going back to plan base. I was constantly struggling with it because I was still attached to the ideology. What was that for you? Pretty much the same story. I mean, immediately I was like, what have I done? I'm no longer vegan, this sucks. I don't even want it to work, but like you yeah. said, like it works. And then you, you have no choice. What else are you gonna do? It's like, you feel better. So it's like, okay, I have to do this. And still to this day, we're seven months in and I'm still debating ways like, okay, if I go back to Toronto, we do this low fiber thing, no salt now, that's a poison. I could make it work, I can make it work, but the longer I go, it's just like, it's not working. It's not a complete diet. I don't want to supplement with B12 that was made out of, like, Fujifilm. <laughs> Fujifilm. That's what Ogenus tells us. Yeah? <laughs> he says vitamin E is a waste product of Fujifilm. <laughs> that sounds reasonable. Yeah. <laughs> it's proven. <laughs> but yeah, like, all these toxic supplements, it's like, they never benefited me. I don't want to do it. I want to eat a natural thing. Everything from my diet. That should be how it works. Yeah, that is fully understandable. This is what I said before when we were sitting downstairs. If you have to supplement B12, vitamin D, DHA, EPA, and protein powders, you might as well just eat mussels and oysters. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. You do not have to supplement anything if you just eat that non-sentient life form. So why would you? It's true, like Dr. Greger is basically like he'll tell you, okay, go on a vegan diet, it's the best diet, but do take this B12, <laughs> maybe, maybe a little D3, just, just in case, take some DHA. It's exactly. like you're trying to recreate a fifth, Dr. Greger, you're not <laughs> buying your shit. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Dr. Garth Davis just came out with this video, Ex Vegan Insanity, <laughs> where he clearly displayed how easy it is to be on a vegan diet if you supplement vitamin B12, D3, DHA, EPA, yeah. and whatnot, maybe possibly collagen. So how is that a complete diet? How is that all right for your human physiology to just chuck down pills and powders in order to sustain you somewhat? And that is debatable as well. Yeah. Is it just as absorbable and bioavailable as the real thing? I highly doubt that. And the thing is, like, is it even proven? Because people will say, vegans are all about the science. They're saying saturated fat causes heart disease. It's proven by science. You know what's not proven by science? Is vegan protein powder safe long term? Is B12 safe long term? Where are the studies on that? Is that algae oil concentrated DHA from a swamp gas swamp figure beast? <laughs> it's like, is that safe? We don't know, but you're just taking it. It's like, oh, we need an alternative to the animal product, so this is safer. It has to be. It's vegan. <laughs> it's vegan. What I find fascinating as well is that vegans will always list those plant-based studies, but they don't take into account that they are plant-based. Caldwell Assistance, heart reversal diet, included dairy, low-fat dairy. I didn't even know that. Big shocker, I didn't know that either. Because I've studied him, I read his book, I don't even remember reading that. Yeah, exactly. Like he doesn't, that information doesn't get out in his message. That's exactly the point, you look into it and you will see that those studies are always on plant-based diets and on top of that all of those population studies are obviously not on vegans either but on plant-based quote-unquote civilizations yeah. and this is what you see with the Sardinians, they are eating fish, then you go to the Okinawans, they are eating fish this is something that everybody has in common, they are all eating fish and other animal products alike so then they eat sweet potatoes as well, and the vegans say, must be the sweet potato. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think the question is, how much meat do we need? Because for some it seems like it's just a plant-based diet with a little bit of meat or fish. Right. For others it seems like all meat is the way to go, like, I don't know. 
everybody's different. I can't handle the fiber, so I just stick on the low fiber approach. Show me a good healthy vegan food that doesn't have any fiber and I'll eat it. White rice is not a food. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say white rice. No, but even white rice, you know, if you do it as a short elimination, okay. But you will get nutritionally deficient, of course. Yeah. Because white rice as an elimination, short term is okay, but you cannot sustain yourself. Meanwhile, on meat, you could technically sustain yourself. That is the main difference. But anyways, how do you cope now with the guilt of eating animals? What do you tell yourself, Casey? Yeah, <laughs> it's getting better. It's getting much better. I don't really have the guilt, I don't think, anymore. Yeah. No, I do. Because I, I couldn't kill myself, so I still obviously have some hang-ups there. Like, people who want to hunt, I could not do it. So I'm just embracing my hypocrite nature. And I don't know. I feel fine. I just want to be healthy. That's my goal. So Fair enough. if i got to crush animals in the wake of my path, it's going to happen. I'm sorry. <laughs> it will happen. <laughs> there it is. Fresh. All right, guys. Casey, it's taken off. We are saying goodbye. It was a pleasure meeting him. Oh my god. And we're gonna cut the video off here. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I do not have to give you a shout out. Yes, you absolutely do. Absolutely do. Okay. Please subscribe to the Vegetable Police, the much smaller channel than mine. <laughs> and as always, guys, much love and peace. I used to eat a lot of meat. I realized I'm a piece of shit But when I learned of how they die It made me sad and I cried So now I don't eat animals I cannot stand to watch them fall Let's not pretend they don't feel pain For me and you they are the same